Well, this morning, here we are after Thanksgiving. I slept in. Romaldo and his group is here first thing this morning. They're starting to mask everything off. Okay, time for a little bit of a walk and talk. Um, as you can see, they got everything masked off here to keep uh, things in order. Let me walk out here. They said I could. All this is taped, it, so it kind of looks a little rough around the edges, but uh, uh, when it they get done, they'll peel this tape off and they'll make a perfect circle. As a last minute, here's the driveway. You can see the, uh, the speckled area. That's what they spend a lot of time doing. This was going to be a solid dark, kind of like maroon color. The more I kept looking at it, I just thought, well, maybe we ought to add some speckles to this too. So that's one of them last minute changes we made that you can do with Romaldo. He doesn't mind uh, making changes. He just wants to get it done uh, before they start peeling up all the tape. Because then if they have to go back and retape it, it's more labor and it's probably gonna cost more. Uh, so I've been looking at it, thinking real serious about maybe, just in the red area only, about doing some darker, a real dark brown speckle on top of that light brown speckle. Um, I'm not sure. So anyway, when they get done, this is a template here. They'll take that template up. And then the, I don't know what you kind of call it, off-white driveway will, will shine through with that picture. And I don't know if you can see it. All them squares, that's the tape. So they'll peel all that up and then everything will start to come together. At the end of the driveway, they're done here. This area here, I picked out a darker brown to kind of accent that. I just didn't want to go, you know, brown on top of brown on top of brown. That's what the red's all about, to give me a little bit of color. And also that's in front of the front door too with another design that I'll show you in a little bit. So, where's the dark brown, Romaldo, we're going to use out here? Here? Uh, that's dark brown? Yeah. That we're going to use right there? Right. right. Okay. Here's the dark brown here that we're going to use for this area here. So we'll see as the saying goes. We will see. It's a little windy out here today as you can tell by looking at the trees. Sold this house over here. I can see right now that's the first thing anybody does when they buy a house. They plant a tree. 
<laughs> I did. Everybody does. So I don't know who bought it. I heard it was Canadians that bought that house. I don't know if that's true or not. Um, but anyway, they're going to take that tree out, which I don't blame them. Those trees are kind of nasty. And he's going to uh, plant that, uh, that palm tree you see way over there. He's going to plant that in that yard. So I haven't had a chance to meet the uh, people yet. I'm sure I will. But when we bought this house, I had one of those crepe myrtles, I guess you call them. It was planted right here. I moved, no, I wasn't a crepe myrtle. I had a, that bush back there has got all the red berries on it. That's what was up here. And I moved it and I put uh, that palm tree there in. Actually, that's the second one. The first one didn't take very good. So I had it taken out and had that one put in. And then as time goes on, you add a little more, you add a little more. And next thing you know, you live in a forest. And as you can see, they got the swimming pool done over here. Just a little, I'm walking around here just with a work on driveway, give you a little bit of update. I got my uh, dead cat on, so hopefully the wind ain't giving you too much trouble. Let me walk over here. They got the swimming pool done. Took them a while. It's all bird caged in. On top of the house up there, you see those black things up there? Believe it or not, that's the pool heater. Um, all them pipes, water is pumped through all them pipes to go through the whole area there and then it goes back into the pool. They use the sun and the heat off your roof to heat the water to go back into the pool. There's also uh, usually an LP heater, you know, to back you up in case it's uh, a cold day for a few days. But they got the landscaping done, put it all out here, put these bushes far away from the screen. That's quite a ways away from the screen actually, but uh, uh, that's okay. And inside they put these uh, privacy blinds you, so you can't see in. I have seen on the inside the uh, privacy blinds has a, um, they're custom made blinds. They have a picture all the way around, picture of a beach I think. You see seashells and beach and birds and stuff all inside. And those blinds I think can be rolled up also. If you wanted to roll them up, might air go through. So, but it's finally done. Looks like they're giving that, that little roller right there, he's not rolling paint. He, it's a hard thing and they're rolling down the tape on the edge to make sure that the edge is sharp when they peel it up and uh, after they paint it. They've rolled that tape a couple times now, so they hit it quite a bit to make sure it stays clean. Now he's putting on a second uh, coat, the darker brown, with the lighter brown mixed in with it. And it's kind of a slow process to do that. It's just a, a feel, more or less. He just kind of walks back and forth at a, at a steady pace. I think you can see it going down.
Well, there it is. That's done. Now that you get all the tape off of it, you can kind of see the difference in the colors. Came out pretty well, I think. I can't really get on it. They put a sealer on it, and I think it's still wet, so I'm not going to walk on it. But you can get a good idea of the kind of work he does. This darker design here comes up and around and goes over that way to the front door. Let me walk over there and see if I can show you. They're done. They're cleaning up right now. Let me walk through the flower beds. My wife hates it when I do this, but I'm doing it anyway. Don't tell nobody. But you can see it uh, comes over here. You can see the design down there. It's like angled tile, kind of like. And then it goes up there, and then there's the, I think I can walk on this. Yeah, I think this is dry. We'll come up to the front door, and then there's our little design by the front door that we come up with. I thought about seeing if I could get them to put welcome there, but uh, I don't know. I was thinking if I sell this house someday, somebody may not like that, and so I was, eh. Let me get as close as you can see. This was supposed to be solid red, and I decided to put the gold speckles in it. It just seemed like the thing to do. So. This is the way it is. Come out here. Woo, sun's coming out. There. I lowered the brightness on the, on the screen. Now the sun's coming. It's reflecting off that uh, sealer. Seem too bright. So, well, there you go. Romaldo driveway designs, creations. I'm not sure. It's on his card. Anybody needs his uh, address or his name or phone number, hit me up. I'll send you a copy of his business card. It'll be on this video somewhere anyway, probably toward the end of the video, I'll put a copy of his uh, business card on there. He's six weeks out now. He's taking February reservations, so if you want anything like this done to your lanai or garage floor or whatever, give him a call. Get your name on the list before you head back up north.